dancing technique is more like, uh, it involves lots of twitching and lurching. Uh, it's not pretty. I'm like Frankenstein out there, I'm like, ah, ah, swatting at people's cigarette butts. Ah, he's in the demo. Ah. <laughs> that was funny when I wrote it down. Yeah, but I'm not a good dancer. Like, guys are too self conscious, right? When we go out dancing, women, they don't care. They're like, woo! It doesn't matter what they're doing, you know, guys are like, oh man, she's a good dancer. Or, Bob, she's perfect. She's throwing up on the floor. They're going to the next dance. She's good at it. This side over here, when women had no voice, no face, no form uh, back when. Now you come around here and they're on their own and really coming into in a big way. They've got a mouth, but now they've got form. They're getting their arms. They're getting the strength. So women it's like the capable. evolution of women. Yes. Okay. And my younger sister is on me to do one now. I don't even have this one out of cement yet, but she wants me to do one where they're complete now. Right. And I've got to do that, and I'll put it with this one then. She's pretty. Is she single? Oh, I thought you met my sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe your pretty. sister too. All right. Uh, yes, she's single. <laughs> she hadn't She hadn't got a ring finger yet. All <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's uh, uh, kind of uh, missing <laughs> some vital pieces there. I'm not sure where she put the ring. But we will. Well, I can think of two places she can <laughs> put the ring. <laughs> you can put them anywhere now. <laughs> All right. To allay patients considerable fears of live burial, which, who hasn't had that fear? As well as their own insecurities, 18th and 19th century physicians devised a wide variety of methods used to verify death. Welsh physician and medical historian Jan Bonnison collected many of these stories in his witty and admirably researched book, Buried Alive. Read that one to your kids at night. It'll scare them. The methods seem to fall into two categories, those that purported to rouse the patient using unspeakable pain, and those that threw in a little bit of humiliation. The soles of their feet were sliced with razors, needles jammed underneath their toenails, their ears assaulted with bugle horns, hideous shrieks, and excessive noises. Bus. It's kind of, you know, I do it for more for like people watching, you know, because there are some weird people on buses, myself included. But it's weird, like, uh, the bus driver is really aggressive. He's like, hey, buddy, you keep sticking your ass out the window like that's going to get knocked off. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I have my reasons. You know, because if you. Put the window down and aim your ass just right into the wind. You can make it hoot like a Coke bottle. <laughs> Started wiggling around a little. I was getting a tune going. I was like, I'm sure you guys get your money's worth over here. It's free? Oh, well, this one's on me. 